So we're gonna talk about some back stretches that you're gonna be able to do right before a workout to make sure you're nice and limber and moving, okay? So first one is going to be hand on the wall. I'm gonna be standing a little bit close. I'm gonna take my outside leg, I'm gonna bring it up, and I wanna put my toes against the wall, okay? So my toes are gonna press against the wall, and I wanna think of bringing this knee down here, okay? So this, depending on how flexible you are in your hip capsule, may or may not be kind of tight already, okay? And I want you to take your toes off of the wall, keep your knee at the same level, and bring it around to the back. So notice I'm not leaning forward too, too much, right? I wanna to try to stay upright, and then keep this knee up versus having it drop down. Okay, so I'm up to the side, bring it out and around, toes back to the wall, and then re-drop that knee. So I wanna to try to keep that mobility in my knee this whole time. Okay, so you're gonna do that 10 times on each side if it's hurting you, five times on each side if um, you don't have any lower back issues. Okay. So the next one we're gonna move down to is moving down to the floor. I'm gonna start in this little S sit, okay? So um, easiest way to get into it is my feet start hip width apart, and I'm just gonna push my knees over towards one side so that way my foot ends up on the top of one of my knees okay and again depending on how tight like your lower back and your hip capsules are this this itself might just be enough of the stretch you're going to probably feel it here or in uh the other side okay but if you can try to sit upright okay and the goal here i'm just scooching a little bit so i can so i can move is to bring my feet up and over or sorry my knees up and over towards the other side if you need that brace of bringing my hands right behind my hips i can do that okay next step up would be to do it without hand assistance okay so you're just going to go side to side just like this and then one more step above that i want you to be able to get into is going to be that um hip bridge up okay so i'm in my s sit i'm going to come up onto my knees I'm gonna come back down. I'm gonna switch to the other side. Come back up, down. Okay, so that's exercise number two. Number three, I'm going to hopefully stay in the camera for this one. Okay, so I'm gonna be on one side. My top knee is going to make sure that it's in front of my bottom knee. Hand out flat, and then this hand's gonna sand or uh, sandwich on top of the other hand, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna act like I'm gonna be bow, uh, drawing a bow and arrow. So I'm gonna draw, bring it all the way through, and I wanna look in the direction that I'm bringing my hand. And come back through, and then I'm gonna reach all the way through, come back through. Okay, this whole time, this knee is staying in front of my other knee. Okay, if I, I'm just gonna bring it up just so you can see what I'm not doing. If I do this, right, if this knee comes back as I open up, uh, as you, you can see that like I come all the way through and now I'm stretching more of like the glute lower back area versus if I keep this stacked, I wanna be going aiming for like the mid back, okay? So again, you're gonna do that one five times on each side if your lower back is not hurting, maybe it's just tight. 10 times on each side if uh, you are having some issues right now um, that you're trying to, to avoid re-injuring yourself, okay? And if you wanna make this a little bit more difficult, that top hand, you can put like a two to five pound weight in that top hand so that way when you reach through, you can extend that arm and then that weight will help bring it down just a little bit more. Um, I'll give you one extra bonus one, which is like probably one of my favorites. It's gonna be that thread the needle, okay? So I'm in that tabletop position. I'm going to lead up through my elbow. So I'm just twisting through my thoracic spine, leading up through my elbow, up towards the ceiling, right? And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to bring this all the way through. And come back up. And notice when I come up, this hip isn't sticking up. When I turn out, I'm not sticking my hip out in order to get that extra rotation, right? I'm keeping it nice in line with my spine, drawing it up, and then back down, okay? So five on each side, bring it up and back down. Okay, and then once you're done with five on each side of that one, the last one is gonna be putting that hand on the back of your head, 
and I want to reach up through my elbow and then back down. So this one is more of strengthening the rhomboids, which is the muscle in between your shoulder blades, rather than um, stretching the lower back. Okay, so I'm here, bringing it up and back down. Okay, and you're gonna do that five on each side and you should be all set to go for your back workout. All right, let me know if you have any questions.